Next, we're gonna see how to represent values in Java using the short. Now, this isn't a commonly used data type. You see it more often in Java programs for embedded devices or maybe sound processing. You're not gonna see it in a typical program. On the other hand, we're seeing more and more devices in the Internet of Things, so maybe the short will make a comeback. I'm including it for completeness. It's good to understand all the data types, so if you see it used, you know what it is. The goal for this lesson is to look at the short data type, its size and how we create it in Java. A short is a number represented by 16 bits or two bytes. Again, the short is a two's complement number. This means half the representable numbers in 16 bits are negative. This gives a short a range between 32,768 and positive 32,767. And you can create shorts using decimal literals binary literals, or hexadecimal literals, just like the byte. If you store a number larger than 32,767 or smaller than 32, negative 32,768, the compiler will give us the incompatible type error we saw in the last lesson. So to create shorts, we use the keyword short, give it a name, and possibly a literal value. In this example, we're creating the number 10,794. So back to our program, the first example is a decimal literal, the second is a binary literal, and the third is a hexadecimal literal. We run it, and again, the values are returned in decimal. This is because we're not formatting the value when we print it back out. So that's the short. We'll cover the most used Java primitive next. Hey, thanks for watching the video. There's a quick quiz for this on DG.com if you'd like to gauge how much you learned. If you like the videos you're seeing, please let me know by liking the video and hitting the subscribe button for the DG channel on YouTube. I'd really appreciate that. If you have concerns or questions, please leave them in the comments below or on DG.com. There's a poll on the front page of DG.com, so you can also let me know what topic gets covered next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.